Stress tracking apps, your friend or foe. Do they really help alleviate stress or do they inadvertently fuel our anxiety? I was thinking about this when looking at an app so I thought I should share. Recent research has cast a spotlight on the correlation between the use of stress tracking apps and a rise in anxiety levels. At first glance, it might seem counterintuitive. After all, these apps are designed to help manage and reduce stress, yet the data paints a different picture. A study I found says that individuals who regularly use stress tracking apps tend to exhibit higher levels of anxiety. The question that arises is, why do stress tracking apps, which are built to alleviate stress, end up amplifying anxiety? The answer lies in the very nature of these apps. They continuously monitor our stress levels, providing us with real-time updates. In theory, this sounds beneficial. In practice, however, it can lead to a heightened sense of self-awareness, which in turn can trigger anxiety. It's akin to looking at a mirror that constantly reflects our stress levels back at us. Moreover, these apps can induce a phenomenon known as cyberchondria. It's the digital ages version of hypochondria, where individuals obsess over their health metrics, creating a perpetual cycle of anxiety. Furthermore, the constant push notifications and alerts from these apps can lead to the digital fatigue. Having an alert that you're anxious is actually stressful in itself, as well may not be correct feedback, so causing additional second guessing and defensive anxiousness. The incessant reminders to breathe, meditate or take a break can ironically become stressors themselves, adding to the very problem they aim to solve. So, should we abandon stress tracking apps altogether? Not necessarily. These apps can be beneficial if used judiciously. The key lies in how we interact with these tools. Balance is vital. It's important to remember that these apps are tools, assistance designed to aid stress management, not to dictate our emotional state. By consciously choosing not to obsess over every notification or data point, we can utilize these apps effectively without succumbing to the anxiety they can potentially cause. Also, it's crucial to remember that while these apps can provide helpful insights, they are not a substitute for professional help. If you're experiencing persistent stress or anxiety, it's always a good idea to seek the advice of a mental health professional. Stress tracking apps can be double-edged swords, they can offer valuable insights into our stress levels, but they can also inadvertently fuel anxiety. The key to using these apps effectively lies in maintaining a balanced approach and not allowing them to dominate our emotional landscape. Technology is a tool, not a taskmaster. It's here to serve us, not to stress us. By maintaining a healthy relationship with our stress tracking apps, we can harness their benefits without falling prey to the anxiety they may trigger. The next time you reach for your stress tracking app, remember it's not the app, but how you use it that counts.